It's a moody, misty, awesome day today. I was up just before first light and uh, the moon was still shining. It's not quite a full moon now. We had the autumn equinox at the, week, the weekend and uh, we had a full moon on Saturday but we didn't see it because we had over 24 hours of rain but uh, today the wind has cleared, the rain has cleared and it's left a lovely mist on the hills in the distance. I heard the blackbird and the robin this morning waking the day up as the uh, moon disappeared and the first daylight appeared and it was lovely. It was a lovely time of the day. It was around about half six, quarter to seven this morning and it's left this lovely mist in the distance. So I don't know what the weather's supposed to do today. I think it's supposed to rain. But uh, I'm going to try and get my winter jobs done today. I've got to use my wheelbarrow to move my wood in the garage and get the fire stocked up. And I've got to um, got to get under my fire stocked up under there. Get the fire lit. The uh, tea started. I'm just having my breakfast, crumpets, and I'm having ginger and turmeric tea with a bit of honey to try and ward off any colds and flus and shivers and things like that. And then I've got my weaving to finish. So I've got a busy day. Busy day planned. So this is my weaving loom that I made from scrap wood on my other channel. All it is, is uh, it's about seven foot tall with these pieces on the side and it's 30 centimetres wide that way. And then all I've done is I've warped it up with just some commercial yarns and one of my hands spun. And then the actual warp threads here are some jumper that I cut up. It was um, an old cashmere sweater that I had and uh, I've cut it into strips and I'm weaving myself a new scarf. I thought it was a good use of uh, something old. This bit here is an old scarf that I bought in a charity shop. This is some of my hand spun. And then this is the old sweater that I cut up on my video for Vlogtember last month on my other channel, Wildwood Cottage Diary. So I'm going to weave all this, make it into a scarf. And then when I finish that, I'm going to put some hand spun yarn on there. And I'm going to weave another scarf um, with some hand spun. And I'll do that here on uh, my Vlogtober vlog and show you how to warp it up. I put some footage in one of my vlogs this week of how I made the loom, but uh, you can go over and have a look. I'll put a link in the description bar for you of this video of making the loom um, on my Vlogtober, Vlogtember blog over there. So that's that. This is my uh, Attic 24 blankets. I still haven't finished. I'm uh, doing a border around the edge. I haven't decided how I want to finish it yet. I was thinking of doing one of each of the colours in a border along it and then do a lace border. Because I just didn't like how it finished when um, it just kind of came to an end and it looked untidy at the sides. So that's my Asics 24. It's not too bad a day here today. Garden's very wet, we've had a lot of rain. Like I said earlier, we had uh, over 24 hours of rain. And uh, it's very wet. There's the polytunnel that I did in May, in June. And uh, got plenty of knitting on the go. I'm working on a new crochet cardigan. So I'll show you that later on. But that's the colours so far. 
and uh, I'll show you what my thoughts are for that later on. I just thought you might like to see my scarf so far and uh, I'll show you how it progresses. Still got quite a way to go yet. I'm leaving about 12 inches at the top so I can uh, do some threads, put some tassels on. I think that would be nice that for walking through the woods in the winter. So yeah, right. Time to go and finish my wood storage. I'm uh, getting the fires ready for winter. So I'm loading up the logs at the side of the fire. I got this crate the other day at the tip for free. So I thought it would make a nice upright crate for putting the wood in and stacking it on top of each other in there. So yeah, time to go and get on with the wood storage. So see you in a bit. Hi everyone, it's uh, later in the day and it's about half seven in the evening. I've had such a busy day. Um, I've been recording videos for my other channel and I've been using the cook stove today and cooking some food on that to show how to use it. So I've been so busy I haven't had a chance for any crafts. So what I've decided to do this evening is I'm going to sit and do some spinning. Um, I've been working on this yarn which is a Welsh mountain wool and it's uh, from a local sheep about five miles away from my home and uh, the farmer gave me a full fleece I got it for five pound and I was having a rummage in my room the other day and I thought that that was the last of it only to find that I've got this and I've still got some in the bag somewhere if I can remember what I've done with it got this here left in the bag and I've got loads left in my box and I didn't realise I still had loads of the fleece off the same sheep so it's come out a lovely grey black colour and uh, yeah I want to be able to make I'm thinking of making a Birkin again you'll know how much trouble I had with my Birkin sweater well uh, I'm thinking of going back to my original plan and uh, making a naturals one. So I've got this, which will be the main body, the main part of the fleece, the main part of the jumper. And then the colour work is going to be done in Shetland. I've got some gold Shetland to spin. I've got this Shetland, but I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. This has been carded for a while, but needs to go back through the drum carder. And it was one of the multicoloured uh, Shetland fleece but I'm not too sure if it's going to be too much the same 
as this one but we'll have to see when it spins up it might be too much the same but we'll have to see I've got some brown and um, I've also got some alpaca um, and I've got the gold as well in um, the Shetland and some white so that's what I'm thinking at the moment but this Welsh Mountain Fleece has got about four or five different tones in it it's got brown it's got gold it's got cream it's got grey it's got black so I'm wondering if I can just do the Birkin out of just using this because I think it's beautiful it's so soft it's been washed already um, and it's just really soft it's not scratchy and I just think it's going to make a really nice jump out so yeah I think Birkin is back on the cards again I'll make the size bigger because uh, I'm not the size I was last year but I'm not as big as I was earlier last year I'm still probably around a size 14 16 but uh, my other Birkin's slightly too small I really don't like the neck so I'm going to try and do the neck differently when I start it but uh, yeah that's my thinking for that so I need to put this lot through the corder and this lot possibly back through the corder but I might just spin it anyway I think this is raw this hasn't been washed um, and I like to leave it with all the gnarly bits in it and I pick these out if I go, as I go if I want to but uh, yeah it's a lovely fleece it will need washing again because it's a bit musty but I just think that against that is going to be really nice so that's my thinking for that I hope you enjoyed having a look at my weaving um, I will put the video of making the loom um, I may put that up at the weekend and let you see that instead of seeing me because I don't do anything on the weekends I don't do anything on a Sunday um, Sunday is my day off, it's my church day with my husband, it's my day of rest and uh, we have a lot of responsibilities at church so I don't do anything, I don't podcast, I don't just don't do anything internet wise because that's work for me really and I try not to work on a Sunday um, and sometimes on a Saturday as well I try not to do any work so I'll probably post that video of the weaving loom and the weaving over the weekend for you and you can have a little look at that I am doing that mainly on my other channel at the moment that was a project I started on my Wildwood Cottage Diary channel we built the loom last week and uh, this week I'm posting the footage of warping it up and then weaving with it and I'm hoping to get that finished this week so I'll show you some of that on this channel this week during Vlogtober and uh, we'll do a bit of weaving on here together I might try and do that tomorrow I've got a lot of work to do around here at the moment. I've got a massive pile of wood to shift. I can find a photograph, I'll pop it here for you. But it's probably about a car's uh, estate car length of wood and height and maybe wider. So yeah, it is a big pile. It's taller than me and I'm five foot five. Um, and it's probably about 12 foot long. So yeah, it's a huge pile huge pile and I've still got loads in the garage to shift as well so that's what I've been doing this evening I've that's why I'm looking so tired I've just been doing log splitting with rounds like this on the log splitter <laughs> and uh, one of them bounced off and hit me on the leg so uh, yeah we've got a little bit of a bruise now I think but I thought I'd show you a finished object that I've been working on I just need to put the um, drawstring in this is called a peary pooch or pouch and it is by Spindrift Crafts on Etsy. I'll post a link in the description bar below. But this one, it, it's all done in natural dyes. And this one is her willow colourway. Now, I did change one of the colours out because it looked too much the same as the one of the other colours. There was just too much the same in it. So what I did was I changed out the yellow here. Let me just try and focus that for you. I changed out the yellow and that's my natural dyed yellow that I did the other day in Dyer's Chamomile and then the rest is all done in willow and the white is just natural I think this is really pretty don't know what I'll use it for um, the yellow on the bottom 
is my hand dyed yarn. Let's see if I can focus it in for you instead of focusing on me. That's my uh, Dyer's Chamomile Yellow there, which is really, really pretty. And I think it goes really well with the other willow colours. So yeah, I'm very pleased with that. It only took me an afternoon, so I would highly recommend it if you want something quick, easy and natural dyed to do. I'm thinking of doing some glasses cases in natural dyed yarns in kits for you. So uh, I'm thinking of doing that this week and put, trying to work on a pattern. Um, I don't want to copy her idea because obviously she needs to make money out of it, but I'd just like to do something... Um, in my hand dye drawn. So I think that's really pretty. Sorry the light's glaring at it. Is that any better? There you go. You can see the colours better now, can't you? So yeah, I just need to put the drawstring in and uh, that will be ready to go. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. I might put some slate stones in it that I've collected and uh, make it into like um, a David and Goliath pouch which he put his stones in. So yeah, very pleased with that, very happy with that. The other thing I've been working on is uh, some crochet squares. I'm doing the... I've got, gone out of focus, out of, out of shot there, haven't I? I'm doing the Ariana cardigan, which is a crochet cardigan on uh, Ravelry. It's a free pattern. I'll post a link in the description bar below for you in a picture just here. But uh, I've decided to make it, so I'll show you the colourway that I'm doing for that tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for today. I'm really tired, I'm really sorry, it's not much of a vlog for you today. But So yeah, I think that's it for today, it's 8 o'clock, I'm tired, I just want to go and settle down for the evening. And uh, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully the rain will stop and we'll get outside. Yeah, I do have a fleece down here that I want to spin for a farmer. She very kindly gave me a load of fleece in the summer, so I want to uh, spin that up for it. And I said I would make a rug, so I might do this during that during Vlogtober as well. And uh, I've got some yarn to spin for another lady who gave me a massive box of fabric and wool locally as well. So I'd like to get those jobs out of the way. So we'll do those things on the channel together, and uh, I'll show you some fun things to do with some hand dyed hand spun yarn. And there's some raw fleece. So yeah, I'm going in. I've had enough for one day. And uh, I'm going to go in and settle down in front of the fire with my spinning wheel. So I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye bye.